you just love this sound? The dreaded dentist appointment. Before they go drilling for gold, they shove this nasty thing in your mouth. Open wide, everyone. Slide this in like that. This is why they do it, to see what it really looks like in there. So this is the, the lead shield. This armor belly, it's supposed to help protect you from the x-rays. Radiation levels are low. You'll pick up more radiation flying from Houston to New York than you will uh, with a full dental x-ray. Dr. Eric Sanders should know. He's been a dentist for 16 years. We met up at his office up in Magnolia. We start our 13th year. And Dr. Sanders thinks a lot of Texas dentists will be glad we're here for a different kind of examination. It's distracting as hell and it's disruptive as hell. Dr. Sanders is talking about these guys, the Texas Radiation Control Board. You can tell what they're supposed to do by their name. Protect us from the evil x-rays. Their inspectors are supposed to make sure the machine that takes these pictures are working right. Okay, that seems fair. But since 2016, the inspectors have decided to start showing up unannounced in the middle of the day. How would you feel if you were in the middle of a painful tooth extraction and your dentist had to stop just to deal with some state inspector and you get to wait an hour or more to finish? If I had my kid was having their wisdom teeth taken out, the last thing I would want is some, somebody coming in wanting to do an inspection that it draws the, uh, the attention of the doctor away from the patient. You know, it just, it's insane. And you complain? I mean, I know dentists are complaining, right? In a way, they're kind of afraid. They don't want to piss sure, off the state, but, Yeah, but exactly. Mostly the inspectors look at paperwork. Because when's the last time you heard of someone being heard by a dental x-ray machine? Come on, raise your hand. We're waiting. You ever had a problem with an x-ray machine? No, not, never. Sure, in the 50s, the x-ray machines were really scary. They looked like they could hurt you. But folks, it's 2018. Come on, state government. We've come a long way, baby. So Dr. Sanders, he took a stand. He told the inspectors, come back when I'm not busy. They didn't like that, though. No. The result? A $4,000 fine. It's just a money, cash cow, money grab. One of the things I love about government is once they start doing something, anything, it never seems to end. Like the inspections of dental office x-ray machines. So when we look for any incidents of dangerous radiation exposure at a dentist's office, anywhere, we came up with nothing. So let's follow the money. The budget for the radiation control program is more than $9 million. Millions of dollars in fines for things like paperwork mistakes? Wonder if the dentists get fined for having to cancel appointments because the inspectors decided to pop in. I thought Texas was a state that got rid of stupid regulations. The fines of $679,000 are a drop in the bucket in this multi-million dollar government overreach. There's not one instance where they find a dental practice for unsafe levels of radiation in their x-ray equipment. Some dentists have decided to arm themselves to stop the disruption. They keep the number of a lawyer close by. Ooh, the whole due process thing. It's prompted the Texas Radiation Control Board to meet next Wednesday in Austin to meet out new punishment. We're going to watch. Maybe they should be meeting to decide if we even need to spend money doing this anymore. At the end of the day, it's just not fair, is it? No, it isn't. Not at all.